This smuggle-born witch was the first victim of the basilisk. Keep watching for 5 interesting facts about Moaning Myrtle. Her murder led to the creation of the first Horcrux. Myrtle's murder was certainly no accident. She was targeted by Tom Riddle as she was muggle-born. It was under Tom's control that the basilisk took her life, splitting his soul for the first time and creating the diary horcrux. She haunted her bully. Fellow student Olive Hornby would often tease Myrtle because of her glasses. It was her teasing that drove Myrtle to the bathroom in tears on the day she died. Myrtle haunted Olive until she complained to the Ministry who ruled that Myrtle remain at Hogwarts. She comforted Draco Malfoy. Feeling the immense pressure of being a Death Eater, Draco confided in Myrtle about his failed assassination attempt of Albus Dumbledore. She comforted him, feeling as if she understood him in a certain way. We only discovered her surname in 2015. Myrtle's surname was never actually mentioned in canon. It wasn't until 2015 when a fan asked JK Rowling over Twitter that she replied Myrtle's surname was Warren. She never informed anyone about her death for almost 50 years. Myrtle never actually told anyone about how she died until she told Harry. It makes us wonder why she never said anything to Headmaster Dippet or Albus Dumbledore. Perhaps she was too distraught at her death. Thanks for watching guys and that last fact would lead into this video's question and that is why do you think Myrtle never told anybody about how she died for almost 50 years? She could have easily told Headmaster Dippet or Albus Dumbledore, so comment below why you think Myrtle never told anybody how she died. Thank you very much for watching today's video, and if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, then click up here. Or if you would like to watch more videos, then click here. And if you would like to help support me and my channel on Patreon, then you can click here.